everybody, it's Amber. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I showed on my Instagram and in a YouTube video previously that I was making some fun ephemera pieces with catalogs and magazines that I had already read through. And a few people asked me to do a quick tutorial to show how I did it. It's so easy, anybody can do it. Just grab um, your favorite publications or some magazines that you may not be using anymore or you're just gonna recycle or find some quotes or some recipes or just anything inspirational or beautiful and turn it into ephemera. And you can tuck it into your junk journals or mini albums or just give us happy mail. And it's so fun. I was making these all night one night. It was so relaxing. I'm excited to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. More about them later in the video. So I think we're going to start with my favorite, and that is Bella Grace. And I have a little scrap down here that says use for ephemera because I happen to have two of this exact volume. So we're going to just flip through here. I've already used some of this for um, some scraps. In previous videos but I did see like this page right here is absolutely gorgeous and there's like a quote in the corner right here and we can make this into a beautiful ephemera piece I hate to tear up this beautiful photo but I'm gonna go ahead and do it just tear it out so I'm gonna just set some stuff aside here that we might use and see these publications just have so many gorgeous images. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever, but I will link the website below so you can go and subscribe because it's just every single page, cover to cover, I absolutely love. So... Okay, so I've chosen these two quotes here out of the Bella Grace, and now let's go into the Willow and Sage. And I just pulled some scraps out of my Maggie Holmes scrap bin, and so I've got some of that pretty paper here. take my paper trimmer and just cut this into whatever size I feel looks good and I want to capture some of that beautiful photograph So now it's super easy from here. I'm going to work with one at a time here. So let's do this one first. We'll do the biggest one first. I'm just going to find a piece of scrapbook paper that is about the same size. So it looks like we're going to have to use this one and that's really pretty. So then all I do is back this up on here. So I'm going to add ATG to my actual magazine page. You want to try to get it all the way to the edge without having any glue hang over. So I'm going to bring my pretty scrapbook paper and this is um, pattern cardstock. So then I'm just going to go to the corner and try to line this up with no border straight with that corner and that edge. and then just press it down and you can either cut around this or put it back in your paper trimmer so I think since this is such a big piece I will put it in my paper trimmer okay 
so here it is so far it's so pretty and the last thing I like to do to make it look more finished is around the corners and I think on this one I'm gonna use the half inch side of my corner chomper okay so there's our first piece of ephemera all done we've got the beautiful quote on here and it feels really nice and sturdy and then the pretty scrapbook paper and you cannot tell that it's been glued it just looks like one piece so this one says I lied and said I was busy I was busy but not in a way most people understand I was busy taking deeper breaths I was busy silencing irrational thoughts I was busy calming a racing heart I was busy telling myself I am okay sometimes this is my busy I will not apologize for it love that okay so that one's done now my favorite one this one so pretty so I think I'm gonna use this scrap right here and let's see so this will fit pretty good and I just have to trim off a little on the bottom gorgeous this looks like a, a journaling card or something that you would find in like an ephemera pack and this one says this a small cottage deep in the woods spring water a huge garden and a well-stocked library this is all I need I love that so much so, so for the recipes we have a luxurious lavender and honey soap so let's do this one for that one okay so same thing just gonna Glue this down. Okay, so I ran out of my ATG and I really don't feel like refilling it in the middle of the video. So I have a little mini one here I'm gonna use. Okay, so we're gonna use this piece here. So I'm gonna line that up. We have just enough room for the recipe as well. These are really, really nice and they work so good. I'll link it below. I'm not sure if it's archival safe. Let me check the back. Look, it is. It's photo safe. It is photo safe. I'm so excited. So I like to have those on hand just in case my ATG runs out or if I'm working on just something quick and I want to take one of those with me to go, like to my sister's or my mom's. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down. Okay, I'm just going to cut these out now. I just think this is so beautiful. It's such an easy way to make ephemera out of things that you may just have thrown away or recycled. Look at it in a different way. And I love the back of this, so pretty. And our, let's do the last one. So I'm all done with this rose body scrub and I backed it on the pretty pink paper. I think it's so gorgeous. Okay, so here's the pretty ephemera that we just made. And I'll turn it like that. And then these ones here, this one has the beautiful paper on the back. And then this one has the floral. So pretty. 
and then of course these recipes. So the way I use this is I tuck these into pockets in my junk journals or, or, or mini albums. So let me show you. I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people just like you and me. They have thousands and thousands of classes and workshops covering pretty much any topic you can think of. If you are a creative that just wants to brush up on some skills or fuel your curiosity, Skillshare is definitely the place for you. The premium membership works out to be just under $10 a month, and that gives you unlimited access to all of those classes and workshops. And the great news is that the first 1,000 people to click the link below will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. I love to watch the journaling and crafting classes, especially this one here that I took. It was so relaxing and it had a lot of great information. I have loved journaling and writing and this class just really explains how much journaling just helps your mind and your mental health and it just is so creative and it'll help you discover more of who you are and who you wanna be. So don't forget to click the link in my description below and you can start learning with Skillshare right away. I showed this one where I did utilize some of those pretty handmade ephemeras. So I did use some of these magazine pages, the Rosemary and Mint, and then I backed it on that pretty cardstock. And I think I had a Bella Grace one in here as well. Let's see. I apologize for the loud TV. My husband's now watching, I think, American Idol. But here's this one. This is another Bella Grace, one that I turned into ephemera. So let me show you how we could use these. So here's one that I haven't decorated yet. And it's just a pretty junk journal. So I do have a folder in the middle. Oh, this one does have ephemera in it. So this one that I made, I did the mango sugar scrub with that one. And I have like a really inspiring little story here with some more pretty on the back. So I could take these pieces and here's another junk journal I made. And here's um, pockets that I have not glued down yet. But it would be so pretty to like stick this one in here with that pretty paper. And then maybe a recipe. Like the lavender and honey would look so pretty in there it right there thank you all so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this this is one of my favorite projects to make because they're quick and easy and very relaxing I hope you enjoyed the video everybody thanks again for watching I'll catch you in the next one bye